Thank you so much. Whoa, that was loud. Nice. Hi, guys. I'm Darren Carter, the party starter. Are you ready to start this party? Let's do it. Some of you are more ready than others. <laughs> Quite frankly. <laughs> You're ready, drink it. <laughs> Awkward, okay. <laughs> you guys are like, fuck it, it's like Vegas but Burbank, all right. You're slowly unbuttoning shit. You're fighting with your wife in the car. Damn it! I'll take you to a comedy show. We'll go to Ikea first. We'll drive down the street. I have no idea if that's... I just, you guys have more of a subdued vibe, you know? Compared to this, watch. Yeah, I mean, seriously, it's like... And this is you guys as a couple. Look at this, he's clearing stuff. This is gonna get crazy! <laughs> Clothes are gonna come off! <laughs> oh, you work here, I didn't know. <laughs> I thought that was one of your buddies. Oh, I know Hank, when he gets drunk. <laughs> he's standing on tables. Are you guys a couple? Are you married? I don't even, I just, I'm just I made this whole thing up. They've been married, they have three kids. He's like, no, it's my coworker. I promised her I'd take her out. And next thing you know, it's 2018. And I promised her I'd take her out last summer. What is your, what is the, uh, what's the relationship? What are you guys, what's going on? There? You're friends. Cool, friends, nice. Cool. Are you guys looking for other people? Or are you just like... <laughs> You're like, look, we're not into each other. We're just a couple of pals. We'll sit there. We can survey the situation. Are you single, my man? You single? <laughs> there he is, turning plates again. He's like, oh. I'm gonna get cuckoo. How about you, young lady? Are you, are you single? You're single? All right. Let's see if there's any single guys out there. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, chicks. <laughs> Wait, somebody was pointing. There's a guy that's single. His friends were pointing. Look that way, look that way. <laughs> Let's see if he's a nut. Go crazy for three seconds. Let's see your best dance move. But I gotta ask, do, should we give it to him? Does he want it? Do you want it fast or slow? He wants it slow. 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 All right, slow. This is for you. What's his name? What's his name? Louis. Louis. You ready? This is, what's your name? What's your name? Laura. Oh, wait, already said Laura and Louis. I like it. Laura and Louis. Ooey, ooey. Louis, come on, man. Give us 10 seconds of slow jam. Three, two, one. <laughs> nice. I like that shit. It was, it's, got a, it's got a lot of rhythm in his hand. It's, his hand was like... And then it went down to the finger. And then it went to the throat. <laughs> it's weird not being on your phone, right? It's like, because you're right, like, guy, these young guys, they just, it's weird to be like, the real world, oh my God. Just, everything is on your phone. You got all the hookups on your apps, you know? Like, you got Tinder to find the girls, Uber to bring them to you, <laughs> Lyft to send them away.
Unless you have like a menage a trois, then you send them home on an Uber pool. <laughs> <All three. laughs> who gets dropped off first? If I, this is a serious question. You're a guy, you hook up with two ladies, who do you drop off first? Are they, are, they, are they arguing over? Are they doing like Rochambeau? Okay, Cheryl, rock, paper, scissors. I think I should get dropped off first. I did anal. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. I took a risk. I took a risk. <laughs> Early in the night, you don't know what, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> who knows if it's gonna get a laugh? It's kind of creepy, you know what I mean? I'm like, I did anal. <laughs> All of a sudden, it goes from a fun night to like, didn't this used to be a macaroni bar and grill? <laughs> Where are we? What are we? These guys are creepy in here. <laughs> I'm married, man. I'm married. That's why I have fun with the, like, hey, come on, do it. Boom, hook up, you know? Like, man, I got married pre-internet, dude. I got I've been married 20 years. Way before they had the apps. I, back, in my, back in my day, we, we used to get rejected face-to-face. -face. <laughs> Anybody over 40, you remember what I'm talking about, right? You know, you'd see an attractive woman, you'd be in a club. <laughs> Hi, would you like to dance? And she's like, no! <laughs> I'm holding my friend's purses! <laughs> How about you? Would you like to dance? I mean, it was, it was embarrassing, you know? People used to go cruise. That was a big thing. They used to go cruising in their cars on weekends. Cruising, all th right? Like the 50s and 60s. Do, 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 do. And then the 70s, 80s, 90s, even the early 90s, right? It was a good time. You'd be in your car. I was trying to explain to my cousin. He's a millennial. He doesn't get it, you know? He's like, so you guys would drive around in traffic on purpose? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we didn't take... It wasn't on the freeway, you know? We weren't, like, on the 405, you know? <laughs> It was, you know, like main streets all across America, right? You know, and he goes, and, and, it, was, he goes, and it would work? <laughs> well, not necessarily. I mean, like, you always heard about it. You know, you always heard, hey, did you hear about uh, James and those, like, pack of girls? Like, they met at the Kmart parking lot. <laughs> like, you go cruising, you make a couple U-turns, and then you, like, meet up there, and, like, you guys hook up. <laughs> so there was always that legend of, like, let's keep doing this. We'll sit in traffic and look at other dudes at red lights. What the fuck? We're... Where are the women at? <laughs> hey, one time we almost got lucky, me and my buddy, right? We were, I lived in, at the time I lived in San Jose, California, and uh, I remember it was, uh, he was driving, I was in the passenger seat, and then and there was these two ladies right next to us, right? And the light was red, and, and at the stoplight he goes, he goes, yo, ask them where the party's at. You know when you get nervous, you repeat the question, ask them where the party is. Ask them where the party, ask them where the party, where the party. <laughs> so I remember I was, like, <clears throat> I was like, okay, okay, ask. He goes, hurry up for the light turns green. I was like, shit. Hi there. Where's the party? Is what I felt like it sounded like, but I'm sure it came out. Where's the party? <laughs> right? I forget this woman had great timing. She waited right for the light to turn green, and I go, "Where's where, where's the party?" And she goes, "It's in your pants, and you're the only one coming." <laughs> and they laugh. My friend laughed. Everyone's laughing. <laughs> I didn't get it. I was being too logical. I was like, I don't, that doesn't, what? She can't even see my pants. I was dumb. Oh. <laughs> see, some of you guys, you, you, I, feel, I feel like you, know, you have that, that look, like you would know, you'd ask, where's the party? And they would fall, you know, they would be into it. Let me hear you ask, where's the party? You're at a stoplight. In your pants. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think he understood the question. Yeah, 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 bring him more shit. He, uh...
We're gonna try this again, ladies and gentlemen. You have one line. Take two. You're supposed to ask, where's the party? Not. Right, right. All right, take two, take two. Go ahead, drink up a little bit, drink up a little bit. So the part. <laughs> Remember I even did the sound effect of like hitting the brakes, like, and he's like, in your pants. Long Island iced tea. Okay, that was. Good. Remember, okay, where's the party? <laughs> Skrr! Where's the party? See, he's got that. Where's the party? He's asked that before. In your pants. All right, let's take you to the friend zone. Let's see how these friends... <laughs> not yet, not yet. Are you dating anybody? All right, this is... We need to see a real... Sing see, these guys are all cocky and shit. They got ladies. Where's the party? Yeah. It's in your pants. I want to see a real single guy. I asked Louie, that guy, he's a pussy, he already left. He's like, I'm gonna use the bathroom. <laughs> Where's the party? You sound like a fucking cop, dude. I don't mean to curse, but he, he looks like, where's the party? Yeah, we got a party. Yeah, it's in, it's in his pants. He's the only one coming, uh-huh. Where's the party at? Hey. Yeah, right there. Hey. See? Hey. See, that was friendly, sexy and friendly. He's like, where's the party at? Where's the party? It's in your pants. Go take a shit and get out of here. <laughs> the, damn it! <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome, man. Are we having fun tonight? Yeah, we are! <laughs> what the? F is that me right there? It's like looking into a mirror, son of a bitch. I'm glad I shaved. No shit. Go like this. That's some weird shit. I realize right away, if I ever do that joke again, never start out with this motion. <laughs> Two bold guys, salute me. It's like, was, I'll never do that again. That was weird. That was, that was weird. I, thanks for playing along. What if I'm the only one doing it? You're like, this guy's an asshole. Where's the Nazi party? Where? Oh, it's in your pants. <laughs> can I just, can we, I know there's a new guy in the booth. This is an incredibly fun audience. Are we filming this? I hope we're filming. Are we filming? 100%? I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be all like excited and shit, you know, like, oh, I want to see that moment where he was, in, and then he's like, sorry, we forgot to hit record. <laughs> Did, did he, is he on camera when he did that? I'm just curious. He's not on camera? No. Even a little bit, like his hand? A little bit? All right, fuck it. Louis, Louis for sure isn't on, huh? 
Look at him all excited. Oh, thank God. Oh, I must went viral. Man, I love you guys. You guys are awesome, man. This is a nice, diverse crowd. Got a, lot of, a little bit of everybody. Got a, I like, you know what, you know what like, <clears throat> do we have any black women here? We need more black women here, because... I like when I travel and there's always that, it's like that voice in the dark when you really hit someone good with a joke and you hear, now that's funny. <laughs> now that's funny. I'm like, hey, that's, like, that's like an Oscar to a comedian. <laughs> Everyone's laughing, I'll never. <laughs> now that's funny. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it has to be real though, I need no fakers out there. That's funny. <laughs> so married life, uh, I'm gonna tell you my, my wife is even tempered, she's always mad. Uh, <clears throat> Here's married life in a nutshell, man. My wife will, uh, she'll say some hurtful below the belt shit. And then 10 minutes later, make me a turkey sandwich. <laughs> you guys, if you're in a relationship, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Darren, let me ask you, do you even have jokes or do you just have a flashlight? <laughs> I remember she asked me, she goes, do you have, do you even have jokes? Do you have, and I was like, I got, what? Ooh, ah, I got jokes. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, what'd you do with my flashlight, bitch? <laughs> Hide my shit, man. <laughs> and then 10 minutes later, did you want provolone or Swiss? I'm not even hungry now. <laughs> All right, provolone, can you, can you toast it? I like when you toast it. <laughs> I mean, I could put it in the microwave, but that's just, that's not as good. It's better when you, yeah, thank you. Can I get a little pickle on the side, a little pickle? You have kids, you don't even realize they're, sometimes they hear that, so you don't even realize that they're in the room, right? My son's 10 years old, about a week and a half later, I'm in the kitchen, he's like, Dad, I got a question. Do you even have jokes? <laughs> Mom says you just shine the flashlight in people's eyes. It's not funny, Dad. I wouldn't laugh, Dad. It's not funny. Would, I'm like, dude, no. She was just saying. She's just trying to be. She was trying to be funny. It's like, no, I don't. I do, I'm not. I'm not just shining the light in people's eyes. There's like an art to it. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if some? How stupid would the crowd be if I just like for like 45 minutes? Dude. <laughs> All right, now this side. Oh. <laughs> Just the ladies. <laughs> actually, you guys are laughing at it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> you guys are like, this is actually really good. Yeah, cause uh, mom, he goes like this. He goes, he goes, yeah, cause mom said uh, shining the light, uh, shining the light is not funny. Like, um, and she said that, um, I'm like, are they having like discussions about this? With them? She said you could never do shows in the daytime. It's like, why couldn't I do shows in the? Uh, oh, cause the sun's out and my flashlight wouldn't work. Then he hands me the flashlight. He goes, try to make me laugh, dad. Dude, what, now we're having like a spontaneous impromptu comedy competition in my kitchen. <laughs> Hands me the flashlight. I'm like, well, first of all, you already know it's, you, you already know. Like, so the element of surprise is, you know. Okay, first of all, I said, listen, so I'm not, I don't just go out there and do that. I, it might be, I might hit him like this. I might go like, hey, what's up, ladies? I'm Darren. You could call me Duran. <laughs> I like my women. <laughs> I love my women like I like my wine aging in my cellar. <laughs> he starts laughing. My wife walks in. Really, Hannibal Lecter? 
I'm like, can I have provolone, please? <laughs> Turkey sandwich. That's married life, man. You gotta have, if you want to be in a relationship for a long time, you, get, you need three things. Give each other space. You have to have a sense of humor. You have to have no other options. <laughs> you gotta have a sense of humor. That's the biggest thing. That is the best, to have that sense of humor. Just don't, don't, go, don't go too far, right? When I was 11, I read in Reader's Digest, never use wit as a weapon. I remembered, right? Okay, my wife was walking. She hit her foot on the coffee table. Bam! Now when you're dating, you're like, are you all right, cupcake? Oh. Oh, no. Let me get you an ice pack. Oh. Little aspirin, right? You start coddling them. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy. If you've been together longer than six months, it goes down a little different. Am I right? They're walking. Bam! That's what you get. <laughs> Hashtag karma. <laughs> Just don't let them see you say that. Unless, unless that's like your divorce, you know, <laughs> strategy, right? Like, I say what comes to my mind. <laughs> I remember when we first got married, man, like, like this is hilarious. There was this dude that used to live across the street. He was like, he was like a retired cholo. <laughs> you know those dudes like, like the, uh, the, the, the socks were pulled up a little past the knees. He's wearing like a Raiders jersey. <laughs> Sunglasses were placed ever so gingerly in the middle of the forehead. He had that overgrown mustache. What's up, fucker? And every day he'd be out there waxing his cars. He was Hector. He'd be out there waxing his car. And I was talking to him, right? And, uh, and I told him we just got married. He goes, bro, let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you. Right now, it's a power struggle. When you first get married, like, everyone has their opinion, right, bro? You got to be the first one to put your foot down. Let her know you wear the pants in the family. Bro, it's like when a tree grows crooked, you don't notice it first, but as the years go by, fuck that. <laughs> Power struggle. <laughs> Looking back, I don't even know if that dude even ever had a girlfriend. <laughs> That's like the worst advice ever. Really, you're gonna argue about every little, that's so stupid. Like when you're dating, it's okay, cause you can be like, and that's the way it is, I'm out of here. And you get in your car. <laughs> when you're married, where are you going, guy? Where are you going? <laughs> and that's why I just, you know, I'm just gonna be here. <laughs> I mean, can, is it cool if I'm here? Can I be here? Okay, this is for the guys in the house. Okay, do me a favor. I think this, the new sound man, I think the mic's a little hot. There might be a little feedback if I go a little too close like that. So, if you're there, whatever. I like the volume, but a little too. We just got to make sure it's not too hollow. But listen, here's what I'm telling you. Why <clears throat> oh, you guys get quiet? I like this. <laughs> you guys are leaning forward. Do tell. It's like a bald ginger wizard. <laughs> Here's what I found, listen, here's what I found. You just, just learn to shut the heck up. That's what it is, guys, that's the key. You wanna just learn to shut the heck up, right? Just learn, just do it. Whatever she says, just be like, all right. I look at it like this. You ever play tennis by yourself against a wall, right? You're like this, you're like, here's the wall, and you're, and you're, like, you're going. I know, it sounds like ping pong, but it's like. <laughs> But why does the ball come back? Because there's something to bounce off of, right? There's something to resist, right? So if they're like, yeah, bah, 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 
ah, and you're like, but I didn't do it. Then the, you're that wall. So you don't, you can't be a sturdy surface, right? You just gotta let her, fucking let her get it out of her system. That's all it is. She's gonna be, you and your little friends, blah, blah, blah. And you always have the air conditioner cold and you're selfish and freezing. Right, and I used to like, well, no, all the time. No, there's no point. I would just, you just gotta, don't be a wall. Just be like a limp dish rag. Just be like a limp blanket that's out to dry. It's like, because it's like that tennis ball. There's no wall there, so it's like, she's gonna go like that, and you're just gonna be like, well, you're right, I'm sorry, I apologize. I just, I mean, no, don't physically do that. Don't do that. So think you're being sarcastic. Oh, I'm a piece of shit. I got a small dick. You're right. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. No. Yeah, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> but literally, just nod your head and be like. <laughs> and then the moment, the moment you start to, the steam starts to go away, you know, then what you do is you, uh, she walks away and she's like, she, she, she wins, right? She's like, then that's why, yes! She walks away like all pumped up. Yeah! Ah, I'm the queen! Yeah! And then you're just, you know, no one knows. You're just like, you give her two middle fingers. <laughs> Nobody, you have to do that, guys. You have to relieve stress, otherwise you die at fucking 35. <laughs> you gotta be like, to her face, you're right. And then just, when you just, ah! You can even secretly have them cop back your, behind you. Yeah, I know. Meanwhile, behind you, you're like, yeah, yeah, trigger fingers coming out, mother effer. <laughs> It works until you have kids, because sometimes they're in the room and you don't even know. They're like little ninjas. My son was on, he was on a brown couch with a brown blanket. She walks away, I'm like, yeah. And my son pops up like a little meerkat. And he's like, just gave you the flippers. <laughs> so now I have to wait for him to turn around. <laughs> so I can give him the flippers. Now the thing you can do, this is a good one too. Just don't, you don't have to do the flipper thing, you don't have to do that. No, this, this is even better actually. You're right, I get it, you're right, you're right. And then the moment things start to cool off, just be like, I gotta use the bathroom. And then go to the bathroom for like two hours. And in that bathroom, I call it like the panic room, the man cave, the little escape room. You just, you keep like a charged iPod in between the towels with some earbuds. You take a mental vacation right there, right? Meanwhile, there's chaos in the living room. And I'm so tired. Blah, blah, blah. Who gives a shit? You got the earbuds in? If you like pina coladas, <laughs> taking walks in the rain. If you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, if you like making love at midnight. <laughs> by the way, that song is it's the, it's called the pina colada song. It's called, it's called Escape by Rupert Holmes. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. Dude, I, went, I revisited it, right, this last summer. There's a 10-hour version of it uh, looping on YouTube. They call it Yacht Rock, right? And it's just like, dude, I was with my old lady. And it's just this mellow-ass, like, mm. If you listen to the lyrics, it's really a trip, because he's talking about how his, his wife is next to him in bed, and then uh, he's kind of, you know, he's kind of horny. And so he's looking in the classified section, getting ready to cheat, right? And he sees this perfect ad. It describes the perfect, he's like, oh my gosh, that's me. I love making love at midnight. I, 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 I hate yoga. I'm, 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 I'm a vegan or whatever. The, it is exactly, right? <clears throat> and she's like, if you're like this, let's meet. Let's meet at this bar on Tuesday at noon. He's like, I'm going to answer that ad, right? He answers the ad. He walks in to the bar. Who does he see? His Boom. His very own wife. <laughs> And in the song, it's like a happy ending. It's like, oh my God, we're right for each other the whole time. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> See, anyone here that's married, you know right there that's bullshit. 
Because in the song, he says he, he recognizes his wife by her silhouette and, and the shape of her smile. Right? Right away, I know. That's not, no. I'd recognize by my wife by her curly hair. But there would not be any kind of smile. Right? In fact, I would look like the dipshit. I'd walk in like, oh, I'm going to get... <laughs> Fuck, that's Jeannie. <laughs> oh, my God. Was that my wife? It sure as hell was. Right, and my wife's so smart, she'd be like, aha, I tricked you, you fell for my trap. <laughs> but right away, I would never fall for that trap because I know her so well. I know what, the, you know what I mean? There'd be no, I would recognize her bullshit by the ad, right? <laughs> Feel like correcting my spelling. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> you like when I keep the AC at 84? Oh shit. When you have to drive me to the airport, you prefer I fly out of Burbank, not LAX? <laughs> oh, that's my wife, man. Oh, look at this final one. Oh, yeah, you like when I bring home a check with a comma in it? <laughs> you have to have a sense of humor. Don't go too far. That's my point. Listen, my wife comes out of the fitting room. She's wearing a green dress, right? It's green. She comes out. How do I look? I should have been like, awesome. Oh! Instead, I was like, like an avocado. <laughs> He's like, I look like an avocado. I was like, damn, what was I thinking? Leaning in with the high five. <laughs> He's like, are you saying I look fat? I had to think quick, yeah, but like the good fat. <laughs> avocado. I'm gonna get you on the side. Work it. Two of my dollars make you holla. Avocado. Oh, you probably have a big pit inside of you and you go bad in about a week and you bruise easy and some people are allergic to you and I'm just, I'm just gonna walk a molly over here. I'm all about that has. H-A-A-S has. Thank you, people who eat vegetables, thank you. You'd be surprised I travel. Talk about corn. Talk about cheesy corn. <laughs> My wife went too far. I'm eating cereal. She comes up behind me. Wow, Darren, your hair is growing back. I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone here is bald on top. You'll stop what you're doing, right? Because you're like, really? Like, just on the sides or like everywhere? Like... <laughs> you could be putting out a small fire on the side of the road. and <laughs> Hey, your hair is growing back. No shit. Give me two mirrors. That grass will go back, my hair won't. <laughs> remember when you first started balding? Remember that, guys? You, you trip yourself out, you walk in like a convenience store and see your reflection on the monitor. Right? You walk in all happy, next thing you know you're bald. You're like, hey, 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 what the? <laughs> you walk out, bing bong. Now when you come back in, bing bong. When you come back in, it sounds like bong. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Your hair is growing back, Darren. So now I'm fantasizing. I'm thinking about the cool things I'm going to do, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I have some hair again. This will be awesome. I'll get, like, some skinny jeans and a man bun, move to Silver Lake. <laughs> One of those handlebar mustaches, ride a unicycle, blow bubbles. I do adult coloring books. <laughs> I'll have bangs and, and be all emo. Everything sucks. <laughs> Everything sucks. <laughs> right. I'll have scrunchies when I eat soup. Ooh, I love lentil. <laughs> have dreadlocks, call them redlocks. Yeah, man, one love. You got the road boys, can can. I'll be popping shampoo bottles like a rapper in a video. Ooh. Then she leans down sensually into my ear and says, April Fools. And then walks out of the room, avocado mother. <laughs> How long have you been shaving your head? Uh, probably 
close to a year. A year. It looks great, dude. You got a good... You, looks good. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> It's so it's good. It's, I, mean, I, it was, I didn't know when to do it, man. I didn't know. I didn't know when to do it. I'd ask my friends. They all had different opinions, right? Kind of like a non-scientific poll. Here's what I found. My, very down the middle. My black friends had one answer. My white friends had a completely different answer. Like, my black buddies were like, you need to shave that shit. Your hair looked like a cul-de-sac. Ain't nobody like that horseshoe look. <laughs> and a horseshoe on the head is bad luck. <laughs> Darren, your hair look like a dandelion. I can see right through that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> dandelion. <laughs> but Eric, you're making me lose more hair. <laughs> All right, make a wish. Make a wish! <laughs> I remember I didn't do the thing. I didn't want to do a comb over, right? So I did like a double comb over, you know, where you take it from each side and kind of make a mohawk or like a... Like a baby hairstyle. <laughs> Here's what my buddy told me. His name is Eric. He goes like this. He goes, you look, you look like Olaf from Frozen. <laughs> it was funny because I didn't even know what Olaf from Frozen was. Now I know it's a cartoon. He's a snowman. He's got like, three orange hairs. He likes hugs, you know? <laughs> He's like, let it go! <laughs> so I go home, all right? And my wife was on her computer. I go, hey, do me a favor. I go, um, Eric says I look like... Okay, can you go to Google Images? Okay, um, there's like... Okay, you there? All right, um... Okay, there's a movie called... Okay, um, he says I look like some, um... Some German actor named Olaf. <laughs> and, then, and I can't see the image, right? Because I'm on the other side. All I saw was my wife go, Olaf, frozen, images. <laughs> oh my God, you do! And then I remember I'd ask my white buddy, he's like, my buddy, his name is Damon. I go, Damon, what should I do? And he has like half a head of hair and he still has a ponytail. You know those guys, I call it a pony fail. <laughs> he's like, looks good to me, bud. Looks good to me, bud. And he walks off. <laughs> I'm sorry, this made me laugh. He wears like Birkenstocks and jeans. He's like, he's like, never sit in a wicker chair, might get your nuts stuck. <laughs> You know, I've never thought of that before. <laughs> yeah, we were jogging around Griffith Park. There's a golf course. It's 2.5 miles around every time you go around, right? And there was, at the time, there was two wicker chairs. I go, dude, I'm gonna check my Instagram real quick. I just got this, and, we, and I go, let's sit. And he goes, I don't sit in wicker chairs, bro. <laughs> Why? Might get my nuts stuck. <laughs> I'm like, well, how, how big is that gap? Like, I didn't even... <laughs> Let me tell you something, if somebody says, don't sit in a wicker chair, you might get your nuts stuck. It, there's a couple things you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, num number one, um, how, how short are, 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 are your shorts? <laughs> and how long <laughs> are his nuts? <laughs> are there people that do that? Are they, is it like, a, it's like low risk uh, thrill seekers? All right, buddy, we're gonna sit in a wicker chair. We're gonna go for the record. All right, go! How far can I get? Mm. <laughs> Quick, check your Fitbit. How many steps did you get? Oh, I got in three, but my heart rate sure went up. <laughs> yeah, dude, looks good, man. You're doing the right thing. I decided, here's what I decided. I was like, if I'm gonna shave it, I'm gonna try to lose some weight and exercise. And can I just say this? Are, you guys ever look at yourself naked in the mirror and you're just like, thank God for clothes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, that joke's great for older people. We get it. <laughs> if they're too young, if they're like 21, 22, they're like, sorry, Darren, we're still quite bangable. <laughs> <laughs> Our skin is tight, aight? <laughs> 
the rest of us are like, yeah, I like layers. I like a nice scarf and a sweater and a hoodie. You know? I like to go back for seconds and thirds and dessert. Six months out of the year, I rock a big ass puffy vest. You can't miss me. It's a puffy vest, has zippers. People are like, don't your arms get cold? I'm like, I don't care. As long as it covers up this area, I can have lots of pizza. I can eat lots of tacos. I can go for it, right? I'll walk around looking like a buff turtle. I remember the first time I was at, I remember this happened. Uh, first time I was at the In-N-Out, uh, In-N-Out Burger drive through and they were like, sir, will you be eating that in your car? I was like, well, um, I mean, I, uh, yeah, um, yes. But, but like, don't tell nobody. I mean, it's like, I felt like I was being fat shamed. <laughs> I felt like I was being fat shamed. Like, will you be eating that in your car? Like, there's cameras and shit on me. Like, you know. Yeah, we knew it. The guy in the white Honda has zero self control. He's not going to make it out of the parking lot. Better give him a box and a bunch of napkins. Sometimes I'll trick my brain. I'm like, yeah, let me get a double-double uh, burger with uh, extra lettuce and tomatoes. And, and so it's like, I'm, I'm like, I'm having a salad. <laughs> there was a donut shop that opened near my house and uh, I resisted for a long time. I don't know what they do. Do they pump out donut? Because you can smell it, you're like, mm, it smells good. Okay, don't, yeah, mm. And I resisted for several months until one time I was like, you know what? You know what, I'm gonna go down there. So I drive down there. I'm like, I'm just gonna get one donut. One donut ain't bad, right? I parked the car, doot, doot, as I'm walking in, I'm like, I didn't come all this way for one donut. <laughs> I might as well get two, right? Might as well get... Yeah, why not, right? So I go up to the counter, she's like, hi, sir, if you get three donuts, you get the fourth one free. <laughs> now I have to get three donuts to get the fourth one free, right? It's a financial decision, I'm helping my family. So I'm driving home, I'm digging around the bag, I'm like, what the hell? They didn't give me that free donut. Do I go home or do I turn around and go back? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. I go back. But now I'm like, I didn't come back here just for one donut. I'm already here. I might as well get three donuts and get a fourth donut free, right? Why not, right? Yeah, like I said, I'm helping my family. This is what they would like, right? But here's my point. Within eight minutes, I ate eight donuts. And if you do that, here's what you, the first thing I did. I was like, oh my gosh, I better, so I started Googling. Um, what are, I'm all helpful, optimistic, you know. What are the health benefits of eating eight donuts in eight minutes? I'm here to tell you there's zero results. And now that zero looks like a mini donut. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, this can't be good. I better at least have some kind of roughage or something. So I go to the fridge, my wife had a bag of carrots. I could, all I could eat was like one big ass carrot. I just picture one carrot and eight donuts, my stomach looking like ring toss. Just like... <laughs> Here's a confession. Sometimes late at night, I'll have a jar of peanut butter with a spoon and I'll watch exercise videos on YouTube. <laughs> You ever do that move? I'm just like, wow, I never saw push-ups like that before. Oh man, I'm so fired up. I wish the gym was open right now. Oh, it's 2 a.m. Oh, well. I'll do that tomorrow. When you're on a diet, you start out with good intentions, right? You wake up, I'm gonna have an apple, banana, right? Get a salad for lunch, get some chicken breast, and lean. have some almonds in my car. You have the emergency almonds. Oh, we gotta have the emergency almonds. Yeah, they're slow to digest. It's good for you, right? All good, right? Until the sun goes down and nightfall comes. <laughs> and for me, I got that 24-hour tell. Taco Bell drive through just waiting for my ass. Like a side chick that won't go away. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Sometimes I'll make it home. I'm like, okay, I made it home. Safe. I didn't go to Taco Bell. I did it. Yes. I'm gonna get abs. It's gonna happen. All right? But just like a booty call, it's like a foodie call. Like, I just call them and be like, are you up? Then I tell myself, okay, you know what? <clears throat> No, I'm not gonna go to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to the Taco Bell, but I do need to get gas in the morning. I might as well get it now. And as I'm pumping gas, I'm just like, let me just drive over there and just see what Taco Bell's wearing tonight. Just... <laughs> so she's Taco Bell. I miss her. Mm. Mm, she smells so good. Damn, look at that. Wow. Oh, I remember. I remember. Mm. <laughs> then you tell yourself, I'm not gonna do it. You know what? If there's more, it's not worth it. If there's more than five cars in line at the drive-through, if there's more than five, wow, there's one car. <laughs> Brake lights are off, they're going forward. Wow, this is, it's like it's meant to happen, I guess. You know, let's get like a chicken soft taco, right? So everyone needs protein, carbo load, I'll have a great extra. Next, right, next thing you know, I'm in the drive-thru. <clears throat> it's about to go down. It is about to go down, right? <clears throat> Good intentions until she comes on. Hi, welcome back. To Taco Bell. <laughs> we missed you, puppy. <laughs> Did you want the usual? <laughs> or are you feeling local? <laughs> so now I'm in my car. Hungry, I'm horny. I am DTF. <laughs> Down to Fiesta. <laughs> I'm like, please give me extra napkins because tonight I'm gonna get messy. <laughs> right, and I always cover myself with napkins. I have the shirt and the lap because my wife prepares food for the week. I don't need questions in the morning, really. I don't need that, right? Really, Darren? Are you cheating and eating on me while I sleep? Is that what you're doing? You're out there? Is this ketchup on your collar? Is it salsa? Is that ketchup? Uh, no, that's, that's, uh, that's lipstick. <laughs> Good. You better not be eating behind my back. Doesn't it feel great? You give them that $20 bill, and in return they give you that warm sack of love. <laughs> Oh yeah, one minute you're gonna be inside me. <laughs> and it feels good, right? Going down, you're like, oh yeah. Until that very last bite, then you're like, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, man, I was doing so good. <sighs> and it is just like you had sex, right? You're slightly out of breath, you're sweaty. There's water the napkins all over the passenger seat. <laughs> Even my top button is undone. <laughs> oh. I don't even think about going to Taco Bell during the day. I don't even think about it. Like Chipotle. Chipotle in the streets, Taco Bell in the sheets. <laughs> Do we have a good time tonight, ladies and gentlemen? I know I do. We're gonna exit that door, guys. I have, a, I have three different albums tonight. Uh, my first one is called That Ginger's Crazy. The second one is called Stay at Home Stripper. My brand new one is called The Party Continues. Buy the first copy, burn the rest for your friends. You have my permission. It's all funny stuff. I, uh, my cousin, he works for South Park, and I said, hey, can you put a, draw a cartoon of me and my wife and my son on a, on a motorcycle? And that's, that's what he did. That's pretty badass right there. If you guys have a, um, if you have a Prius, it's cool because you could just play one of those tracks. I have this Harley Davidson bit. And just wake up the neighborhood in your Prius, <laughs> and then back up quietly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I take cash, credit cards, whatever you want. I got the square. If you guys get all three, if you get the party platinum package, you get stickers, and the stickers are really cool. They say, asshole. And they have a little happy face on it. Because you never know when you need to pass out an asshole sticker. You never know. How many people by Run Falls work with some assholes, live next to some assholes, have some assholes, and, right? You just pass, 
You might drive home. Whoop, whoop. Can I see your driver's license? And, yeah, hold on to this way. I look for it, please. <laughs> Let's do one of the tracks. Let's do, um, let's do, oh, ADD. Oh, that's on my last album. Oh, that's, it's actually on this album. Oh, yeah, boring, boring. <laughs> Shit, I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm on Instagram. Follow me, official Darren. I got one more show tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. If you know someone that might like it, uh, come, come see me. Let's just do the, uh, I like my women. Let's do that one. We'll do that one. <laughs> Hi, ladies, I'm Darren. You could call me Daron. <laughs> I like my women like I like my shoes. No strings attached. <laughs> I like my women like I like my elevator going down with the weight limit. Ah, I like my women. You guys yell out something. Let's improvise. Here we go. I like my women like I like my coffee. Coffee. Uh, full of my Irish cream. That was good. I like that. I like my women like I like my pizza. My what? My tapatio. Ooh, I love her, my chorizo. That was good. I love my women like I like my... Garlic. My what? Garlic. Garlic. Ooh, repelling vampires. I don't know. <laughs> By the album, you can memorize all the good ones and be a hero. Just be a hero at work. Just walk in on Monday like, I like my women like I like my belt. Black and around my waist. <laughs> Get some coffee. Go in the break room. Hey, Roger. What's up, man? Check it out. I like my women like I like my uh, rocket ship. Blasting off to Uranus. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dog. Begging for a bone. <laughs> You'll be laughing all the way to HR. Uh... <laughs> Last three, then we gotta go. We really have to go, and I'll be out there. Please say hi. I like my women like I like my... Taco Bell. My what? Your Taco Bell. Taco Bell, boom, Taco Bell. What else we got? <laughs> <laughs> Two more. I like my women like my Taco Bell, and what else? Chocolate. Chocolate, boom, I like chocolate. What else? Uh, I like peños. I like peños, ooh. Boom, boom, boom. I like my women, I like my women like I like my, what was it again? Taco, Taco Bell, ooh, always open. I like my women like I like my, I already forgot what we were saying. Chocolate, because I'm thinking of my punchline, not the thing. Okay, I like my women like my chocolate. Full of nuts. <laughs> I gotta, I'm going to put this one in, on, we'll do an Instagram one. Find me in, uh, in, on Instagram, official Darren Carter. That's how you find me, Darren Carter, D-A-R-R-E-N, Darren Carter. <laughs> I was curious. Here's a new joke. I want to try this one. Um, should I call my? Uh, here's. I was wondering. You know how people, you know, like uh, Katy Perry has like the, her fans are called uh, Katy Katy Pat. What are they called? Kitty cats. I feel like I'm being rushed. Fuck it. Okay, we'll do that joke another time. What are they called? They're called something. What are they called? Okay, fuck that. Um, no, Lady Gaga. They're called monsters, right? Jimmy Buffett. They're called parrot heads. I was thinking, what, what should I call people that come come to my shows? Like, maybe I could, they could be called like like party starters, or or maybe they could be called like you know, because my name's Darren. They could be called like these, you know, my Dare Bears, <laughs> the Roosters, right? The Roosters and this chicks, right? You know, they used to call me Rooster. What's up, Rooster? Right? Um, but then it hit me. You know what I should call people that come into my comedy shows? Um, uh, people that use Groupon. <laughs> That's fucked up. Why, why am I fucking shitting at myself? All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, buddy, you ready? You say say what you said. Don't nobody else. Just this one guy. Okay. I like my women like I like my jalapenos. Jalapenos. Ooh, uh, making me cry. <laughs> I just, you know, I didn't even record. There's a reason. Fuck that. That one sucked, man. I'm sorry. That was. Fucking freezing for the camera. Look at me. <laughs> uh, I gotta have milk after I put her in my mouth. Uh. Oh my God. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Just we'll do we'll do whatever. I like my women like I like my liquor. Liquor. That sucks. <laughs> Fuck. 
What am I, I just, what can I say? Uh, now, now I'm freezing and shit. Fuck, I'm freezing my brain. Okay. This guy's flashing a light. What the fuck? All right. I like my women like I like my... Eggs. What's that? Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> Next to my sausage. <laughs> Freaking did it, 